Summit suffers its first COVID fatality in three months. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A 49-year-old Summit County man died of COVID-19 last week, the first confirmed fatality here since February 6th. County officials say the man died May 4th from complications with underlying health issues. He was unvaccinated, becoming the eighth local fatality tied to the virus in the past 14 months. Statewide, nearly 13,000 people have died from or with COVID, 109 in the past week. A cool start to May is protecting our weak snowpack, and that's got local rivers running low. In Summit, Ten Mile Creek, Blue River, and Snake River are flowing at less than half strength today, as low as 76% below average on the Snake. In Eagle County, the Gore Creek and Eagle River are also down by half or more. The Colorado at Dotsero is flowing 73% below average. Anglers, take advantage now of clear waters while you can. There's been no dam release yet on the Blue River, Upper Colorado, or the Arkansas. We've got more concert news for you. String Cheese Incident is confirmed for a pair of dates at Dylan Amphitheater. String Cheese plays Tuesday and Wednesday, July 13th and 14th. 2,000 tickets go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. The Breckenridge Independence Day Parade is most likely back on the books. At yesterday's council meeting, the town special events committee recommended reviving the parade on July 4th. They had not been planning on a parade as recently as last month. The drop-dead date to say yes or no is June 1st. The latest tax data from Frisco shows spring break was back with a vengeance, up 42% over March 2020, up 6% over March 2019. Frisco is feeling good enough about tax revenue to add more than $2.8 million to this year's budget. $1.6 million goes to 16 delayed expenses, like $575,000 for park improvements and a new snowcat, and six hundred dollars for a police department renovation. Over a half million goes to jobs, converting 10-month positions to full-time, and nearly a half million goes to the Marina. The latest now on coronavirus and unemployment. Colorado unemployment payouts are down 40% since the introduction of IDME, a system meant to deter thousands of false claims. But some say it's also blocking legitimate claims. Colorado Public Radio reports on both sides. The state saved $66 million on unemployment last month alone, but advocates worry residents without tech access or tech savvy are missing out. 77% of Summit County is partially vaccinated today, 64% fully vaccinated. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Hornets 117 to 112 last night. The Rockies lost to the Padres 8 to 1. Today the Rockies have a doubleheader with the Padres starting at about 1 hour at 110. The Avalanche played the Kings at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Wee's Agency, Summit High Girls Lacrosse lost to Eagle Valley yesterday 14 to 4. Today Tigers baseball plays a game at Battle Mountain and the boys lacrosse game with Eagle Valley has been postponed. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.